All right, so today's gonna be a little different. Uh, we're gonna be doing a comparison test. I've got this old bench that I believe my stepmom spray painted. Uh, and we're gonna be doing a comparison test versus the uh, citrus strip, citrus, citrus strip paint remover. And uh, the this is Sunnyside Two Minute Remover Advanced. Uh, both of them were highly recommended on uh, Amazon. As you can see, I tried to sand I just went through sand paper like crazy, and so I had to figure something else out. But uh, we'll do a comparison on which one uh, works best, which one is the, the most efficient. Like I think they're about, about the same price. Not there's not too much of a difference. So, but uh, I'll go through with you all in the process of how to apply it based on the instructions and uh, how to, where, where to go from. So, and we'll see a comparison between both. Right, of them. So, of course, I got my PPE, got my glasses, got my gloves on. Uh, I have some gloves I'm going to use. Uh, but we're going to start with the sunny side two minute so it says to pour in the container like so that's quite a lot didn't really put that much sit that down and then well let's see and it says um apply an area no larger than two feet by two feet do not brush back and forth like paint and so i'm just i'm just gonna put it on i'm just gonna put it on All right, so I will do uh, the two minute sunny side on this half and we'll do the, the citra gel or whatever on the other side. So it says, don't go back and forth. So I'm not gonna go back and forth like paint. I'm just gonna brush it on, let it go. I hope this works because that paint was just going. It was always going through sandpaper like crazy. 80 grit, 60 grit, 50 grit, just clogging it. Wow, it's already coming off. That's pretty good. I, mean, I probably should have gloves on right now. If this will, if this will do what it's doing right now to paint, imagine what it will do to my skin. Let's see. Let's just get it on there real good. So like I said, this half, wow, that's crazy. This half will be the two minute. So we'll leave it. Wow, that's crazy. You can already see it. Wow, that's nice. One second, I'll get you a little closer. So I brought the light out. Maybe that'll help. I don't know if y'all can see how that's working. But it's already pulling the paint. And it's been 30 seconds. And this is the sunny side. Two minute paint remover. So we'll get about two to five minutes. And then we'll try to scrape some of it off. And see. Uh, and then we'll do the sensor strip and compare them but that's pretty awesome already mm. all right so that was the two minute um stripper it did a pretty good job that was probably two or three coats um i figured out that you need to like really glob it on a uh, thin layer uh, doesn't really do it, but I mean it, If you can get it down enough where I can sand the rest off. I mean, that's not bad, uh, but we're gonna give this citrus strip um, We're gonna get that one put on and try it out because I know it takes it, said it takes about 30 minutes So we're gonna get that one put on and try it out So uh, this is the citrus strip. It looks like a, a orange smoothie. I'm gonna put that on uh, and uh, I would suggest getting like some cheap paint brushes. I've had some old ones that uh I had laying around and they're just kind of tore up. You can use that. Um, but they said to use you know, a brush and then use some gloves, but I'm not using gloves for some reason right now because I can't find any, um, which and it's a pandemic. So it's kind of hard to find gloves right now. So we're gonna put this on pretty thick. But I'm get this whole side. And uh, it says to give it about 30 minutes actually. So, this looks really weird. I feel like I'm putting uh, orange sherbet on this thing. I guess this is more uh, slow acting rather than fast acting. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll work better. Like I said, I'm just globbing it on. Um, globbing it on real thick. And uh, 
we'll come back in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna clean up in the garage. We'll see how this one did. So, all right, I'm gonna come back in a minute. 30 minutes actually. All right, so quick comparison. We've got so this is the citrus strip. I let it go for about 30 minutes, and this is the two-minute remover. And obviously, maybe I could have left it on a little bit longer, um, and I'll do that again to give it a fair chance. But I think the clear winner right here is the citrus strip. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do another test here in a second. And I know this probably goes without saying, but uh, I put a plastic tarp down underneath. <laughs> underneath, um, I stepped in some of it with my flip flop. And it was super slippery, so y'all just be careful when you're doing this. Um, like I said, make sure you wear gloves. Make sure you wear gloves and goggles and safety glasses or whatever you want to do. Um, just be careful with this because I'm sure, I'm sure it could eat through your skin. Probably it's pretty nuts. But if you can see right here where I sanded before. There's still quite a bit of blue on here. I'm gonna spread a bunch of it out and see what it does and then get some up on these rungs. And uh, I'm gonna do, like I said, citrus strip on this side. I'll do a two minute remover on this side and see what happens. So we'll go from there. All right, so you're gonna hear the fan on. <clears throat> um, that's cause this stuff, uh, really more the two minute, the sunny side stuff, it gives out more of a fume than the orange stuff. Uh, I know the, the sunny side stuff says that it's about uh, two minutes and other stuff about 30 minutes and you can even apparently do it overnight as well and get a better reaction. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give them both 30 minutes on the seat and on the pegs and we'll do a comparison on that. And uh, I got some on my foot earlier. Uh, I don't know which one it was. I think it was the orange one. I got it on top of my foot while I was wearing a flip flop and it uh, kind of burns right now. So. Awesome. I'm on time lapse, aren't I? No? No, okay. Cool. So, the conclusion I've come to is that it's not even close. Uh, citrus Strip is the clear winner. Uh, I will, I, I might use this for something smaller. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the sunny side. Uh, two minute remover advanced the ultimate paint and varnish remover. Uh, no S This is the stuff citrus strip. Um, I went back over Where I put the sunny side stuff on and it literally took the stuff that the sunny side would not get off so uh, I gotta give the winner to uh, Citrus strip it is the best. Uh, I think the prices were pretty comparable. Uh, I will put the links down uh, below along with what I would use as far as like PPE and tarps and all the materials you need. Uh, but it's a, it is a clear winner. Citrus strip, um, like I said, they say that you can even leave this overnight and it'll do even more. Uh, I left them both for 30 minutes and it's almost like the two minute remover uh, dried up. Um, yeah, I just, the citrus strip is a clear winner. I mean, I'll, I'll turn you all around here in a second and show y'all. So this side had the citrus strip and you see it's still got gel on it, wipe it off. But I even took some of the gel that was sitting right here, globbed up, and put it up top. And uh, and it's stripping it off still. And then the two minute remover didn't really do very well. Maybe it's based on, maybe they use them for different kinds of paints, I don't know. But from this purpose right here, stripping up, I think it's just, who knows what my stepmom put on this. Uh, this could have been paint from the 1950s or lead in it for all I know. Um, it, but I, I thought it was spray paint. Uh, so, but I would say the clear winner here is the citrus strip. You know, a hundred percent citrus strip is the way to go. And uh, I will recommend this to anybody, you know, just based on these re results alone. And uh, I'll, I'll finish this up and I'll show you all the final product uh, in a couple days uh, on Instagram. But if y'all like this video, please, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit, uh, make, make comments, tell me uh, videos y'all want to be done. Tell me, you know, stuff y'all want redone. Um, I, I, like I said, I do gardening, I do carpentry. That was weird to just shut off. So yeah, I do all kinds of stuff here. So whatever y'all want done, send me a comment, send me a message on Instagram, 
at Noak Farms. And, uh, you know, y'all have a good day. I'm gonna be out here working, but I, at least I can turn the fan on now because I can turn the microphone off. So, uh, but I'll see y'all later on the next video. So uh, here's the final product. I just wanted to let y'all know the best way I found to get that citrus strip off was to take it out in the driveway and to use a pressure washer. Um, <clears throat> and then afterwards I used some oak stain and then I used a semi-gloss polyurethane and let it dry overnight. So if y'all want to see more pictures of stuff I've made like this, go to my Instagram. It's uh, Noak Farms on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see y'all next time.